Hello everyone. Now I'm going to tell you how to install WordPress.org software in a, a online web hosting website. So for that you need uh, the zip file uh, which can be downloaded from WordPress.org website. Click on download WordPress 3.1 and click on this download WordPress 3.1. Uh, as I have already downloaded it, so I um, do not want to download it again. You can download it from here. Now let's go. Uh, now you need a web hosting site which will provide you web hosting. I choose x10hosting.com, which is a free web hosting site and which gives you unlimited disk space, bandwidth, cPanel 11 and custom account panel, friendly online community, stable, profitable, free hosting that you can re really rely on. And also, it does not pop, pop up ads in your website. You can really put your own ads and earn money from that. So for that, you need to create a account on this website. So you can create your own account. I already have. Now, when you will create your own account, uh, it will send you the uh, link of um, your cPanel. You can uh, go to your cPanel, log in it and um, you will uh, get the, get this page now go to files and click on file manager yes uh, let's select web root uh, public underscore html slash www okay now uh, go to public dot public underscore html and you will see the files install uh, files um, already in um, in your FTP server, actually, uh, I have you will only see CGI hyphen bin. So now uh, you need to upload the WordPress.org software here. For that, click on upload, use file 3.1. And it will start downloading it, uh, uploading it. Sorry, uploading it. So I'm pausing till it up uploads to for sa saving your time. Now you can see that uploading is hundred percent complete. Uh, now click on back to home. Now you can uh, see that uh, WordPress uh, three point one dot zip will be uploaded in your uh, uh, FTP server. Now just extract it files you can delete the original uh, zip file a lot of no use okay so now you can see that uh, the wordpress.org software has been uploaded in the directory wordpress and this directory will be your website name which is in my case is techinews.pcwrite.com it will be a uh, slash WordPress. Then you can see that installation file. You um, there's no need to go there now. So uh, there's WordPress. Now uh, you need to open it. Copy all, uh, select all, copy, and uh, the directory should be public underscore HTML only. Copy files. Now the all the files here will be copied to the um, original uh, website. Like uh, you can see many websites which has their website address slash uh, blog or anything like that which has their which contains their blog. Now uh, if you want your um, website as a blog so you can uh, um, uh, upload all the files in your blog only. Now you can delete WordPress uh, folder. That uh, when I, um, type my uh, website address, it shows the um, it shows the installation file. Okay. Now um, close this window. Now uh, go to databases uh, option and click on my SQL databases. Click on it. Now you need to create a new database. Okay. Actually, I have already created a database, so I'm deleting it. Mm -hmm. 
now uh, keep the database name uh, for example let's take it blog you will see that always the database name will be your username in which is in my case is i am what i am underscore blog go back Now you need to create a username to assess the database. Let's create a new username, uh, new user actually. Royal. Keep a password. Let's give it test one two three. Test one two three. Okay. Now click on create user. Actually, I had already created users, so I'm deleting it. Now you need to create a new user, uh, Royal. Let me do it. Password test one two three. Test one two three. Click on create user. The username has been created with the name Royal, and password test one two three. Back. Okay, now you need to add the user in the database. Like uh, now, select the user, uh, which is I am what I am underscore real database. I am what I am underscore block. Click on add. Now uh, select the privileges you want to give to the user. Uh, check all privileges. Make changes. Now the user uh, now the user has been added to the database. I am what I am underscore block. Go back. Now you are uh, set up to start the blog. You have the database, you have the user, and also you have a website. Now just go to the link of your website. Um, if you have uploaded the file directory uh, WordPress, then go to the, uh, your website name slash WordPress. Or if you have uploaded in the main directory, then go to the website only. Click on create a configuration file. Yes, we have the database name, username, password, host, table prefix. Yes, let's go. Uh, let's give it a name to the database. Let me tech in news. Username, which was uh, our username, which was uh, royal. Okay, and password was test123. And uh, you don't need to change the database host. And they will prefix also let it be the uh, original, which is already in it. Oh, sorry, it's asking about database name. Uh, we know that it was what I am underscore blog. Yes, submit it. Yeah, username was also I am what I am underscore real. Sorry, actually. Now uh, you can run the install. Click on run the install. Now give a site title. We tech in news. News. Uh, let us be username. Royal one two one. Password. Test. One two three. Test. One two three. Okay. Email. Uh, let be. Mm, born to be. Kiki. At the rate email dot com uh, yes install wordpress now okay. you can see the username will be rule one to one and the password which we have chosen test one to three 
click on login. Normal one to one. And the password was test one two three. We log in. And yeah, hooray! Your dog has been installed and now you can um, add new post manage comments or everything from the and the main thing is that the dashboard is um, similar or exactly clone of the wordpress.com web hosting so now you can make your own blog with free web hosting for unlimited time and um, so you have installed successfully installed wordpress.org software